buildings in the city of Tacloban are now rubble. Streets are littered with debris, food and water is scarce, and the search for relatives is ongoing. Days after one of the most intense storms hit the eastern Philippines. Typhoon Haiyan has killed over 2,200 people, injured thousands, and displaced an estimated 600,000 people. <laughs> Looting and violence has taken over in some parts as people starve. I come from Manila. I have lived in Canada for 44 years. So we know that our uh, government looks after us and we get help as soon as uh, there's need. And it's very upsetting to see how much uh, destruction and suffering there is, and it seems like uh, assistance is slow. Leila Pierce is part of the Bayanihan Center here in Victoria. She, along with other members of the Filipino community, have started collecting money to help with the efforts. What we're doing is having fundraising, and uh, my, all the funds that will be collected will be given to the Red Cross. They've already collected $7,600, all of which is going to the Red Cross, along with non-perishable items to ship over to the Philippines. We have volunteers manning the center from 8.30 to 8 p.m. And while the volunteers collect money and answer phone calls, they are also watching the images coming out of the affected area. throughout the day. Many members have been waiting to hear from loved ones. Waiting gives them hope, but for some members they have heard and unfortunately the news they're getting is not good. Devastation and desperation in the Philippines, the aftermath of the passage of Typhoon Haiyan. Paris says they have one member who has lost her sister and nephew and is still waiting to hear about her other two siblings. When finally they connect to hear news that they've lost a loved one, it's really very tragic. Residents, many of whom have no homes to return to, are struggling without clean water or electricity and little food. If you would like to help, there are several opportunities. The center is having a dinner this Friday to help raise money for the Red Cross. Lunches are held here every Sunday in order to get some funds to operate the center. But for the next few Sundays, we are uh, directing these funds as an additional fundraiser for the Red Cross. The Canadian government is also matching donations made by Canadians to registered charities responding to the crisis in the Philippines. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh.